Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the AGLRC Ford FD445 ESC and flight controller stack. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and in the next few days I'm going to feature it in a build video. Inside the box you can find some stickers, plenty of rubber o-rings for soft mounting the flight controller and the ESC, spacers and screws, the flight controller, the 4-in-1 ESC, a 35 volts 1000 microfarad capacitor, 10 cm long 14 AWG silicon wires, a high quality AMAS XT60 battery connector, and finally a harness for connecting the flight controller and the 4 in 1 ESC. The HLRC Ford FD445 mini stack is based on two components. The first one is a BLL 32 45 ampere 4 in 1 ESC. On its center, you can find 20 by 20 mounting holes. Over here, pads for the battery, which are pretty far from each other, which is great because it's going to reduce the chances of shorting things out. On the other side, you can find bigger pads for the battery and pads for the motors. And finally, over here, a connector for connecting the flight controller and the AC. And you can also find these pads on its bottom, which can serve as a backup. The next component is an F4 flight controller, which as you can see is pretty small, but it's still using 20 by 20 mountain holes. It comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.5 and it is using Omnibus F4 V6 firmware. In addition, this flight controller is using an MPU 6000 gyro chip. All the pads are located on the top. It has five free UART ports, which is in my experience more than enough. And it has a physical boot button on the side next to the micro USB controller, which is pretty convenient. In terms of dimensions, the weight of the 4-in-1 ESC is 10.86 grams. The weight of the flight controller is 4.65 grams. So the total weight of both boats together without any spacers is 15.53 grams. The outer dimensions of the 4-in-1 ESC are 37 by 31.7 by 7.4 millimeters, and the flight controller is of course much smaller, and its dimensions are 25.5 by 25.5 by 7.5 millimeters. Finally, the AGLRC FD445 stack supports lipo batteries between two to six cells, so you should be able to use it without any problems on five inch wheels, and I think that's the reason an XT60 battery connector is provided in the kit and not an XT31. So overall, this stack looks pretty promising, and by the way, I also like the fact that just like the F420 in this stack, AJRC are using a connector instead of using pins for connecting the balls together, because in my experience, it's not a very reliable method. In terms of pricing, this stack goes for $90, so it's definitely not a cheap one, and I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to perform when I'm going to feature it in a build video in the next few days. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the FD445 mini stack, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.